Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family grocery haul and meal plan from Tesco. So if you want to see more then keep watching. So hello everyone. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I made an effort today to make sure that I was dressed and ready and not in like workout clothes or like cleaning so that this video would actually be done in a normal fashion because I know they've been a bit stop and start recently. Um, mainly because I've just not been feeling fantastic in all honesty. Um, but obviously you're not here to talk about that or watch that. You you just want to see what I got from Tesco. Um, as per the CMA guidelines, I am a to tell you that I have worked with Tesco recently, which is very exciting for me as um, you know, a loyal customer. Um, so that's quite exciting. Some of the bits that I am using in said work with Tesco, which you will see before you see this video, um, are included in this haul. So I will make that very, very clear as I run through everything, but it has been purchased with my own money and it will just be those items that will be part of the work, if that makes sense. So without any further ado, I'm going to run through the groceries as I normally do, starting over here, ending over there, and then I will run through the meal plan at the end. So without any further ado, I've already said that, haven't I? But anyway, let's just crack onto it because I'm making an absolute mess of this. So, starting over here with all the fresh, wonderful produce and the fruits and the veggies and all that jazz, we have some satsumas, we have a honeydew melon is this one. Yes, you are. We have romaine hearts, Chinese leaf, nanas, granny smith apples for something different because these were on offer this week with the club card thingy that you can do which is fantastic please focus camera honestly i really think i need a new camera we've got some i've told you about romaine hearts we've got mushies we've got three packs of the baby cucumbers we've got some super sweet strawberries these were 20 percent off on the club card price and it's a super big pack we have an avocado some spring onions a pineapple we have uh, raspberries blueberries on the vine, tomatoes, tender stem broccoli, and two packs of sweet corn cobbets. These were on offer as well, and these were on offer, and I think these were on offer, um, or with that club card deal type thing. And then a normal head of broccoli, and then a normal cucumber, and a large garlic. So that is all of that. We do have a few bits and bobs left in the fruit, and well, the veg drawer and the fruit drawer of our fridge um but obviously this is all we needed this week um we have store cupboardy bits um nando's peri peri sauce i'm gonna stick that on some chicken in a bit for our dinner later tonight red onion chutney black peppercorns because we were running low um our little grinder has got like three peppercorns left so i've got another one nando's pyrenees again obviously for the homemade nando's we have some egg noodles for a um, stir fry type dish that I'm doing and then some sweet corn, that's all we needed this week. And then this is the um, stuff that I picked up to uh, do my work with Tesco, so I'll make that clear on the screen here. Um, but I got, we're having a barbecue and we're showing off the barbecue range, so I just got a few bits that would do us nicely as a family of five. So we've got the beef burgers, we've got a cheddar and burger melts, grilling cheese and vegetable kebabs, which look so good. I'm really excited about those. Um, and then we've got some chorizo sausages, um, which look amazing and just a little bit different for a hot dog. We all love chorizo in this house, so like it's great. And these were two for seven. And then we also got some burger sauce, which I wanted to try. There was also a fire pit um, truffle mayo, which I added to the shop, but they were out of stock. So I'm a bit gutted about that, but at least we have this one to try, which will be quite nice with these, I think. And then to go with those over the at the back there, we've got some burger buns and hot dog like finger rolls um and they're like two for i think is it two for a pound or something like that which is quite good um then onto everything else we've got a garlic bread this was on offer for a pound these are new so if you follow anyone on like say tiktok for example especially in america they always have these like low carb version of wraps there's a lot of keto people do it i don't do keto obviously but they are 127 calories per wrap and they're just like i don't know what makes them low carb in all honesty i, I really don't know but i just wanted to try them out of curiosity to see if they filled me up for longer and like what they tasted like so i bought those but i've also got my 
fire and earth and wheat yeah <laughs> earth and wheat um box that i ordered so i will show you that at the end if you'd like just so you can see what comes in it um and then we've got some chicken thigh fillets a big pack of the watch cured ham that i always get that's four pounds halloumi two cocoa yogurts because this is what we have with our prep granola and fruit in the morning um mark really likes this now uh can't tell us i just said that salsa eggs and then some thin bagels so this is like extra bread like we at the moment with the um the bread box that i'm getting i don't really need that much more but obviously if i have to buy something specific um i will do but otherwise I quite like this surprise it keeps me like on my feet a bit with in terms of what we make and stuff and then over here we have like bits for kids pack lunches i kind of try to keep that all together for you and then we also have some frozen bits so frozen bits we have some potato stars i noticed these i was really really pleased to see them actually excuse the coffee spill there i need to clean that up um but you know the christmas ones that i get that are like all christmas shapes they have stars in them and i just thought oh it'd be a little bit different for the kids to have now like they're one pound i think um and you know it's just a bit of novelty isn't it um prep chocolate croissants again and then some corn nuggets we love these it is really similar to the mcdonald's chicken nuggets if you're wondering then these i kind of got conned into because i bought them when i went to morrison's the other day nipped into a few bits locally and um they were there and i had daisy with me and she was like oh can we try them so i bought them they're a pound each and then now i've been requested that i get them again as like a treat for one of their lunches at school daisy has a pet lunch once a week because she gets school dinners the other days stan has them when he goes in and then obviously bill has them every day so they have an opportunity to choose a day where they can have their attacker snack which is basically ketchup wraps cheese and ham or ketchup wraps cheese and pepperoni this one's bills a little too have ham i got some strings and things sport shaped because they were these were an offer like we bought them before they are quite expensive for what they are but the kids still enjoy them so i just got them as a giggle got some magic mix to have with like popcorn and stuff at the weekend because we were going to try and watch luca um the new like pixar movie on disney plus but we didn't manage to have time to do that on father's day so i want to do it this weekend because i think it'd be nice to just cuddle up and like do something like that as a family because the weather's not brilliant here um we have some fruits because they were on offer and then some wildlife tubes as well just mixing it up a little bit really then we have fridge raiders southern star ones and the slow roasted because they were also on offer um cheese and onion rolls are something different for pat lunches mini rolls because they were on offer again jaffa cake cherry um we have finally been able to go and like visit family obviously with the restrictions easing and when we go to my grandparents house for as long as i can remember because they're my grandparents, the kids' great grandparents. My grandma always, always has chaff cakes in. And now, when the kids go, they know that, like, it when we have a coffee and, or a tea or whatever and we have a chat like they all get jaffa cakes and i thought i would get some in we have some orange ones in anyway um and then these were cherry flavor and every time i see jaffa cakes now i just think of my grandma and my grandma so yeah <laughs> there's a little story <laughs> um apple and banana slopers and tropical fruit slopers for pack lunches again and we've got some wheat crunchies and prawn cocktail quavers um just to mix things up a bit with Chris. like bill's a right crisp monster he loves a pack of crisps so i got some different ones this week so that's all of that and then over here we just have like drinks and random household stuff i got some of the blue power active flowers things i love the smell of these i was trying to find the um toilet cleaner but they didn't have it online so i ended up having to go for duck uh pine action deep action gel so i got that as well um these that was a pound i think and these were on offer so that's why i picked those up because they're lovely extra strong bin bags Lou roll and then we have um orange lemon and pineapple double strand squash and cherries and berry squash tea diet cokes um mark found out that actually the reason why you can't get hold of diet coke no caffeine in cans at the moment is because there's an aluminium shortage and i think diet well coke cola have like just decided to pay off like the non-caffeine one for a bit so you can only get them in bottles so it's a bit annoying for him um but they're his and then i added this to the shop as a surprise for him 
which he loves Haig anyway um it's one of his favorites but I saw David Beckham on my um Instagram stories it was an ad advertising this and it's Mediterranean orange and apparently you have it with like lemonade and a slice of orange and I bought it for Mark to try and um yeah I just thought it was a bit summery and yeah it was a little bit of a surprise for him plus Haig is very expensive but it was on offer at the moment so I think normally it's like something like I swear this was 27 quid but I got it for 18 or something like that um so yeah that was a little extra thing that kind of put our shop a bit higher than what it would have been but you know got a treat him haven't I and then we got some apple juice and orange juice and that is everything So let's go to the meal plan. Now one thing that I get asked a lot um, on these videos is cost and I used to share the cost of all my shops all the time but then like sometimes I would get comments from people saying that it made them feel bad because they spend like loads more or it made people feel bad because they spent less so I stopped doing it because I don't want videos to make like people feel bad that's not why I do them, um, it'd be a lot easier for me to just like buy it and put it all away. Um, but I will start sharing how much they cost if you want again. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you prefer that. Uh, it, it, I'm mostly led by you guys, to be all like completely honest with you. You can tell how awkward it's making me feel. So where have I put my order? Um, oh, here it is, wait. So this one, was it was cheaper until i added the hague um clubman orange thing on um but in total it was 120 pound 64 so it would have been about 100 pounds had i have not added that on and um my promotional savings you know all of the things that like were on offer this that and the other i ended up saving 21 pounds and 72 pence um and cost of products pre-promotions everything would have been 142 pounds so that's pretty decent i quite like an offer and i do think i, sh I shop relatively smartly and i know now what our family eats but i do think that as the kids get older we're probably going to spend more on shopping because they'll go from eating like kids to eating like adults so it's just it costs what it costs sometimes we prioritize food um, and i'm really like it's a big passion of mine to make sure that the kids are exposed to loads of fruit and veg and eat a really really varied diet as someone that struggled with like her weight and her like food and stuff in the past i don't want them to have those struggles so i am very very clear to make sure that they eat well if you know what i mean <laughs> anyway you're not here for that let's go on to the meal plan so as always it runs from friday to thursday so friday today and we're going to do homemade nandos tonight for me and Mark because we always treat like Friday and Saturday normally as a date night um, because I think it's important for us to sort of take time for each other. Uh, homemade nandos is our favourite and it's relatively easy to do so after I finish filming this I'm going to stick some chicken in like a dish and marinate it in the fridge with like maybe half of that nando sauce and then leave the rest to add on you know to what i'm making and i'm probably going to do like the pheno pitta type things again um but we'll have some wraps that come from earth and wheat so i'll be using those instead of like a flatbread or something like that and we normally just have that with like lettuce pyrenees the sweet like onion relish type thing that i always buy and um halloumi and the chicken obviously and then i'll probably make some matcha peas and save that with some fries that i think hopefully fingers crossed we actually have in the freezer um our freezer is rammed at the moment with like ice creams and dog food and all sorts um then on saturday uh, we're going out to um our friend's little girl's third birthday party uh, during the day and then in the evening i've actually ordered a pasta evangelist box because someone I don't know who because uh, it didn't say they um, used my discount code that I shared from ages ago so I was able to get money off my box which was amazing so I've ordered um, some pasta from there if you want my like it's like a referral code, code that anyone can get so if you want to try it you'll get money off but I will try and remember to leave my code in the box 
bottom if you want to try it but we love that stuff it's like a treat um and it's worked out cheaper than like obviously like a takeaway wood and we don't know what time we're going to get back so it's going to be one of those um friday and saturday like tonight the kids have requested pizza so that's what they're having we have some pizzas in the freezer and then on saturday um it'll just depend on like what time we get back and when they eat because at the birthday party obviously it's in the garden um there's gonna be a barbecue but we're getting there at two so i don't know how hungry they'll be if that makes sense so I've kind of left that open we've got loads of stuff in um and then we'll just go from there with the kids because sometimes you've just got to have days where it's not too rigid or planned because you never know how it's going to go do you on sunday incidentally we are doing a barbecue as part of my um brand work uh with tesco which will be using the fire pit things which we're quite excited about um because mark's loving his new barbie that you got a few months back and i'm loving it too because it means i'm not cooking <laughs> monday we are gonna have corn nuggets and baked potatoes with salad tuesday we are having spaghetti bolognese and um, as i mentioned in a previous video we were going to have that last week but we ended up having a play date instead so i froze the mince but i have everything in to make that so i will just stick to making that so the mince doesn't go to waste i'll defrost it on the day and then cook it in the evening and um yeah it's just one that everybody likes then wednesday i'm gonna try something new from the bbc good food website which is veggie noodles with omelette ribbons it just sounded quite interesting bit sexy thought we would try that and then on thursday we are going to have some leftover curry with rice and naan um we have the curry in the freezer we have rice in and we have the naan in the freezer and then also the kids will be eating at my parents house i think everything's changed a little bit because we used to have double swimming lessons on thursdays but then daisy got a spot at rainbows on a thursday at the same time as a swimming lesson so her swimming is moved to monday and then so we do monday swimming tuesday groups um then wednesday bill has cubs then thursday we now have rainbows and then bill swimming and then on friday we have jiu-jitsu and then on sunday we have stands football so saturday is the only day we've got free and we've got loads of birthday parties coming up now which is amazing but also really busy um so that is the plan and that is everything for this week so i hope you found it useful wishing you a wonderful lovely jubbly super califragilisticexpialidocious day that was extra um and i will hopefully see you all very very soon take care of yourselves